so it continued to so do you have a lover yeah i do a female right yeah so basically that confirms like for him that i'm a lesbian then he carried on to this theory of how my brother and i are gay because i'm still gay because my mom genetically it's it must be my mom's fault because maybe because she's a little bit masculine but she's not gay at all <laughs> so i was just like holding stuff in at this point and just kept going and like it was just it was infuriating so i mean it then it got to the point where he was trying to like listen to my heartbeat and he went above my shirt and i'm pretty sure he heard it but he had me lift my shirt so i did and then he had me lift my binder without the stethoscope or anything and just touched my chest with no purpose at all I left there like just shaking and he basically all the questions he was asking was like were essentially getting at like how do you get off like how are you aroused like those questions have no purpose being asked and I just felt so objectified and I felt like a fucking like specimen that he was analyzing in a way and it felt so perverted too so I left there just like shaking and then I called my friend and I explained everything to him and he like confirmed like yes yeah, it's fucked up so I ended up telling my parents about it and at first you know like they were just my mom was horrified my dad just didn't really understand and then they talked to him, and what they got out of it was that he made me feel like a freak. Which, I mean, to some extent is true, but completely missing the aspect that, in any legal sense, that is considered sexual assault. And that it's complete power play, where I am unbelievably vulnerable, as I need his approval professionally, in order to like get surgery. And then he told me he wants me to come in three to four days before my appointment before my surgery to talk about emotions. <laughs> Excuse me. So, I mean, that's shitty. So I've just been feeling like crap because like, as much as I know this isn't, my parents keep saying it's not about me. I mean, okay, it's not about me, but at the same time, this is bringing so much up for me as a survivor and like, I just, I feel enraged and I feel like this is, hinting at a much larger issue that people feel this extreme like liberty to pry into someone's personal life especially when they're trans because it's something fascinating i don't want to fascinate anyone i'm a person you know i'm pretty cool and there's some really fun things about me i have eyebrows wow <laughs> that doesn't mean that you can put me onto a table and basically poke at me and touch me under the guise of being professional. So I woke up to a call from him this morning apologizing for diminishing me, and he kept repeating diminishing, which basically implies that he was viewing me as less than a human and treating me as less than a human, and that it all comes from this weird fascination and curiosity about trans people. I don't wanna be a learning tool for anyone. I'm a very open person, my experience is not generalizable, and I don't wanna be a fetish to anyone. So, in a matter of minutes, my therapist is coming over to talk to my parents to kind of break it down for them, explaining what sexual assault means. Because, like, you know, I think that in a lot of ways it's... Our generation has a better grasp of it in some respects, at least within queer circles. I don't know about, like, larger. And here's the good thing. I'm going to take this as an opportunity... To basically, I'm going to call him after, like, we have this talk. So probably tomorrow and be like, hey, listen, Dr. What you did is grounds for sexual assault, and I could sue you and just basically take you to court, and you could lose your license and everything. Instead, this is what I want to do. I want to have you and your colleagues come in somewhere, and I would do a presentation for them about trans stuff and just general, you know, like, how to treat someone like a person, but from like an educational standpoint, because no one learns from being yelled at. So that's where I'm at with this. Um, anyway, I think my therapist is here, so we're gonna have a talk with my parents, and I'll continue this later. All right.